Casita here with Heroes Smart Home School Academy. Welcome to class. It's really good to have you. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is Friday, so we're going to Challenge Friday. And what we're basically doing is just looking for an opportunity to apply in a more complex fashion um, knowledge that we've already acquired in previous lessons, okay? Let's open up with a word of prayer, recite our morality creed, and then we'll get right into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts, and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson we shall go. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good work. Let's go ahead and also recite our morality creed. I believe in Jesus Christ, the Messiah who died and was resurrected from the dead to save humanity from sins. He is my Lord, Master, Boss, and Savior. I love God. I love myself and others with the God kind of love. I believe that the Bible is inspired by the Spirit of God and is the basis for morality, rights, and wrongs. I look to the Spirit of God to understand God's intent behind every letter of the Bible. I abide by this intent and I live to honor God in thought, in word, and in deed. I believe there is a heaven to gain and a hell to shun. Father, please give me grace and mercy to please you more. This is my morality creed. In the name of Jesus, amen. Amen. Well, welcome to class. Um, what we're gonna do is up, um, do some some challenge exercises and see if we can see how we do. Okay. So what this uh, the assignment tells you to do is write the missing digits. So some of the digits are missing. You're meant to go in and fill those digits with um, with the missing numbers. You can find this in week twelve, day five. Although the problems are different than what you see in your workbook. By the time you finish working through those problems, you should be able to apply that knowledge to complete your own exercises, okay? So the first example we have here is 74 plus some number equals 81. 74 plus some number equals 81. Well, do you know what that number is? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try and find out. The um, There are two ways you can do this. Um, what you can do firstly is Firstly, recognize that this one is connected with a 10 that is over here. So the number is actually 11, okay? And we talked about this in yesterday's lesson, but seven plus one equals eight. So there's an invisible one here, right? So we have one, one, which is 11. And then you have a four. So the number that you're trying to find, the missing digit you're trying to find, you can easily find it if you just say 11 minus four. And that'll get you the missing digit. Um, another thing you could do is say four plus what number? is going to equal 11. Both of those are perfectly okay. The most important thing is to recognize that the you, you to solve a problem, you need at least two values. The first value is here, four, but we don't know this volume. We do know, however, that this is 11. We know that there's a one here and that there's a 10 over here. That's the only reason this can say eight. Seven plus one, equals eight. There's an invisible 10 here. We take that one, that 10 that's here, and add it to the one unit, 10 plus one is 11. Once you get that 11, you can solve. 11 minus four equals some digit. Four plus, because remember, subtraction and addition are inverse. So, so if you have 11 minus four, you can also say four plus some numbers will give me 11. And now that we've done that, all you have to do is solve. What's 11 minus four? 11 minus four is seven. This is pink. 
Also, if, if this isn't the method you wanted to use, you could use method two, just add, you know, four plus one equals 11. And you may do some of the strategies we talked about in the past, but you could count on or do whatnot. But essentially you're gonna find that four plus seven is what equals 11. So then here in the box, you're just gonna add seven. Seven plus four equals 11. Here's my one here. Here's my invisible one here. Seven plus one is eight. Problem solved. Okay, let's try again over here. We have 87 plus some number equals 92. Starting with the unit side, we wanna find out what um, plus seven is gonna get me to uh, 12. We know that this is 12 because eight plus some number got us to 92. What got us to 92? It was a 10. Where did that 10 come from? That 10 came from adding these units together. Okay. I want to go slowly. I want to make sure you get this. Oh, invisible one is here. That uh, invisible 10, one 10 is here. That 10 belongs to this two. And we got that 10 plus two, which equals 12. We got that 12 from adding these two digits together. So then, the way you can solve this is by doing one of two things. 12 minus seven equals some number. Or you can say seven plus some number equals 12. Either way is okay. The most important thing to do when looking at this problem is to find out what this number is, and that number is 12. This number is 11. This, just so you know, this is going to be 12, because there's a two there, and we know there's a one here, so it's gonna be 12, and this is going to be 11. Um, so once you find out that this is that this is 12, solving the problem is easy. So what is 12 minus seven? 12 minus seven is five. What's seven plus some number equals 12, and that answer is five. And so 87 plus 5 equals 92. You can just check it if you want. What's 7 plus 5? 7 plus 5 is 12. So if I were doing this, I'd write a 2 here, and I would put my invisible 1 there, and now it's actually visible. And then I would say 1 plus 8 is 9. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it again. 35 plus some number equals 42. <clears throat> So the first thing you want to do is find out what this what this two is representing. It is uh, as a consequence of adding these two digits together, five plus some number got me to twelve. We know this is part of twelve. We know because three plus some number has to equal four, and that number is one. Three plus one is four. So there's an invisible ten here. That ten, that one ten, one ten came from here. So. 10 plus 2 is 12. So we know that this is 12 is equivalent to those two digits. So then you just need to write it out. 12 um, minus some number, or you can say, excuse me, 12 minus 5 equals some number, or you can say 5 plus some number equals 12. I've said this before, but the most important thing is just to make sure you know this is 12. That this 12 came from adding these two digits. Making sure you know that this 12 came from adding these two digits. Making sure you know this 11 came from adding these two digits. Because then you can just solve. Okay, so what's 12 minus 5? 12 minus 5 is 7. Just like 12 minus 5 is the same, same thing. 12 minus 5 is 7. 5 plus some number is 12. That number is 7. Therefore, 5 plus 7. 5 plus 7 equals 12. And then add these two together and you get you've gotten four. You got you get four. Okay, let's try it one more time. And hopefully with this final one, it'll just click if it hasn't clicked yet, okay? 26 plus some number equals 31. We need to recognize that this two plus some number got us to three tens. Two tens plus some number of tens got us to three. 
So we know that there's an invisible 10 here. One 10. Where did that 10 come from? It came from here. So 10 plus 1 is 11. We found our, we found that number. That's a really important number to know. We have to know that this 1 and 10 are, uh, belong to one another. They come from the same. That way you can say, well, 11 is equal to 6 plus some number. <clears throat> so let's write it out. 11 minus 6. It's going to get me to this number because that's how I got the number in the first place. Let's also write it out the other way. 6 plus 6 plus some number is going to equal 11. Either way is okay. So what minus, what, uh, 11 minus 6 is what? If you said 5, you're right. <clears throat> 5 plus 6 is 11. You would, you would know that. We've been talking about, we've been talking a lot about 4 plus 7 is 11. 7 plus 5 is 12. 5 plus 7 is 12. 6 plus 5 is 11. We've been doing this a lot over the last few weeks. Right now, it's just a matter of applying it in a more complex fashion, if you will. 11 minus 6 is 5. 6 plus some number is 11. That's the same thing, 5. You don't have to use both of these methods. I just use both in case one clicks better for you. But um, you don't have to use both. I just want to do that. So 11 minus 6 is 5. The missing number here is 5. And you can check it. 6 plus 5 is 11. 2 plus 1 is 3. Therefore, 26 plus 5 is 31. Did you get that? Yeah, it was a little challenging. I mean, it could be, but I trust that walking you through it in that fashion, something registered. And if not, feel free to just watch the lesson again. It is a challenge Friday. It isn't something you have to necessarily know right now, but it is really cool because it gives you an opportunity to start finding what missing values. Um, very soon, you'll be doing a lot of missing values in a place we call algebra. You'll be getting introduced to algebra, not this year necessarily, but in future years, and so it's good to start playing around with, okay, there's a missing value here. How do I find it? How do I find a missing value? And so, um, so this is a fun introduction to it. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for coming to class. Until next week, God bless. I'll be your hero's body, and as you study, with heroes born